Hey guys, welcome to JoJo Cider Reviews and more. I'm JoJo. So I have a very special review for you guys. I'm reviewing a beer that is really hard to find around my area. I don't even think it's in Massachusetts from what I've seen anyways. Um, I only was able to get it on my way to Vermont. We passed through New Hampshire and uh, I think we're in Londonderry, New Hampshire. And I got this at a gas station. And I'm talking about Labatt Ice. Okay, Labatt Ice. 5.6% alcohol by volume. Now it says on the can, so it's Labatt Brewing Company, but it's imported by Labatt USA out of Buffalo, New York. It's a product of Canada, uh, Brewing Labatt Brewing Company, Canada, Toronto. Uh, it is actually owned now by AB InBev. And a lot of people say this is the first ice beer ever. So first of all, an ice beer, so you guys know. Um, so it says the process of icing beer involves lowering the temperature of a batch of beer until crystals form, ice crystals form. Since ethanol has a much lower freezing point in water, when the ice is removed, the alcohol concentration of the beer increases. The process is known as fractional freezing or freeze um, distillation. And from what I could tell, this was made or patented in August 1993. And it kind of started the so-called ice beer wars of the 1990s. You might remember Bud Ice was very popular. They had the the Doobie, Doobie Doo commercials with the penguins. Um, trying to think, there's Molson Ice, Genesee Ice, Old Milwaukee Ice, which is very hard to find now, uh, Keystone Ice, Natural Natty Ice, um, Labatt Ice, Ice House, which is, um, I'm a big fan of Ice House. Um, I, I, actually, Ice House followed shortly after this beer was released, as did Molson Ice. Um, so yeah, looking forward to trying this. Never had this one before. Really hard to find. Really hard to find in my area. Um, Keystone Ice also is hard to find. Some of the ice beers feel like are hard to find. I get Bush Ice, one location next to me, just in the tall cans. Um, Natty Ice we have a lot of. We have Genesee Ice, actually. But Old Milwaukee Ice I can't find. Anyways, kind of digress here. Let's get right into it. This is a tall 24-ounce, uh, one-pint can. And got my glass here, it's going for the pour. Right when I opened the can almost immediately, like it smelled that like corn or rice type thing. Um, very, very crisp in the appearance. Look at this, ton of bubbles, smells sweet. Um, yellow straw, gold color, um, fluffy white head, about two fingers of head. Look at that. Look at all the bubbles. Can you see that? Streaming through the surface there. See right through the glass. Fairly good head retention. It's going for the aroma. It smells crisp, clean, sweet malt, um, bready, kind of a, oh, what am I thinking of? Like a, like a grain, this smells grainy, um, like white bread. Has that, if you had the ice beers, kind of know what I'm talking about, has that classic kind of an ice beer smell. You can almost smell a little bit of the alcohol. I don't know if that's the alcohol or just like kind of, it smells like, just like a, like a, when you walk outside in the middle of the winter, you just, you get that like kind of rush of cold kind of smells like that, if that makes any sense. Think of like, um, you go to the freezer, like, you know, you get a popsicle, the popsicle is frozen, has some ice on it, kind of just that cold smell, if that makes any sense at all. But it, it does smell good. Looking forward to this guy. So without further ado, La Bad Ice. Salute. Hmm. Crisp, clean, malty. Sweet has a little bit of like um what do you want to call that a little bit of a straw earthy taste that I feel like you get with uh you know I'm thinking Beck's beer I'm thinking Corona um you know Rolling Rock maybe um Modelo Special Heineken it's just kind of it's got that little bit of a bite like grassiness a little bit uh. You get that classic, like, 
kind of an ice taste. You know, like it just tastes like, like I said, there's something frozen in the freezer or something like a popsicle and that the coating of, of ice on there kind of tastes like that. It tastes a little bit of the alcohol too. So it has more of like a punch than like a Labatt would. Kind of like where if you had a Bud Ice, it'd have more of a punch than Budweiser would or a Bud Light would. Um, Mouthfeel is light, finish is crisp, clean, dry. A little bit of bitterness though on the back end, seriously. Uh, it's pretty sessionable though, it's really going down smooth. Probably have a couple of these to be fine of these. These are the tall boys though, so <laughs> gotta be a little careful here. Um, oh, I couldn't really tell about the lacing though. I didn't think there was too much, but wicked, wicked crisp though. Look at all these bubbles. Um, but this is hard to find around here. I would get it again. Like I said, um, it's light, but it has kind of a fuller flavor. You know, uh, like I said, you get the sweetness from the, the malt, corn, grainy type of thing. But you get that also those, that I'm getting that grassy note, that, that kind of bite, that like whatever you call it, the hop bite that you get from like those, some of those beers I was talking about, like Heineken. But this is good though, it's going for one more sip here. For an ice beer, I'm really enjoying it. If you don't like that little bit of a hot bite, you might not like this, but it has kind of a full flavor. Um, you know, for an ice beer, I think it's very well made. I'm gonna go with a, go with an 83. So it's kind of like a high end B minus, you know? I would get it again, kind of trying out the uh, ice beers here. Uh, I will have a Bud Ice review coming up shortly, probably next week at some point. So look, look out for that. Anyways, hope you guys have liked this video. And as always, if you enjoy my content, please feel free to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. I love um, writing back to your comments. I really appreciate it. All the support. Until next time, guys. Salute.